Welcome back, YouTubers. This is the AKA Fat Kid, and we're sitting across here with Squeaks. Today, we're gonna rack his brain. We're gonna find out what makes okay, what makes him play. What what's his love of of music? What besides Kiss? Because unfortunately, guys, that's all he's gonna say right off the bat. But we'll love him for it. But um, he's got a big task in front of us. Um, he's writing too gnarly, and from what I hear, gnarly solos. I can't wait for you guys to hear them. But you know what? Let's please talk to him a little bit. Let's let you get to know a little bit more about him, since you already know his birthday and his age and stuff like that. But let's we tell you a little bit more about him. So let's do it, Squeaks. Well, uh, guitar influences would have to be uh, the likes of Jimi Hendrix, Ingve Malmsteen, Steve Vai. Just Satriani. Just in case most of these people don't know who who you're stating, go ahead and name the band that played with too. So just in case, Jimmy uh, Hendrix played uh, with the uh, Jimmy Hendrix Experience. Steve Vai now uh, just does by himself, um, self, but he's also played with the Japanese uh, orchestra. Um, Joe Satriani uh, plays with uh, the band of Chicken Foot, and has also done soloing. Um, very all, all all of them's very good guitar players. Jimi Hendrix is now dead, but he's left his mark in the world, way ahead of his time. Okay, well, tell these guys a little bit more. Like, what are your favorite guitars to play on? Uh, favorite brand of guitar would have to be Washburn uh, for electric. Acoustic mm. uh, would have to be my black acoustic Fender that I have upstairs. Okay, and why is that? Um, just the feel of the fretboard. Um, better sound. And there's Nikki coming in. But go ahead. That'll be it. That's it. That's it. There ain't too many more guitars I like. Alright, so what's on your playlist right now? Top five songs. Shit. Nikki's still in it. Anything. That's to help him. Top five songs. Five songs. Right, uh, Star Spangled Banner, Jimi Hendrix. Mm. Uh, Led Zeppelin's um, Over the Hills Far Away. Alright. Um, Five Finger Death Punch, Bad Company. Alright. Um, I'd have to probably say uh, Victim um, by uh, A7X. Come on, please. Okay. And uh, probably Sorrow by Pink Floyd. And just to let you guys know, he'll have a cover of uh, White Stripes coming up. He's been practicing that all day today. Uh, He's doing yeah. Seven Nation Army. And there's there's hey. the hot pimp named Cliff. You guys. The lovely drummer. I think he's making a video. Yeah, actually, it's a video for YouTube, so you're in it now. Both of y'all. Did you guys sit all Yes, we got the Hellion. We got the Hellion as, as she's oh, named. <laughs> but. So Another now. Two good guitar players is uh, Randy Rhodes and uh, when Zach Wild uh, was with uh, Black Label. Okay, yeah. Another good one, Zach Wild. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big Black Label fan, but I do like Zach Wild. And. Uh, big Ozzy fan. Love Ozzy. So what, what, what is your, let's say, what would be your ultimate, let's say, concert to be to be headlined in with? What groups? Mm. Realistically, can't you can't use something like Kiss because you know that isn't going to happen. Probably headlining or opening uh, during Ozfest. That would be awesome. Because if you're anybody, you've played Ozfest. What about Kiss? They're nobody. They're <laughs> <obsessed>. <laughs> you guys are going to realize we love busting his balls about about Kiss. So, no, no disrespect. We all have our respect for him, but like I said before, he's a little fanatical about him. Kiss is awesome to a certain extent. Kiss should have probably quit playing... 15 years ago. 10, 15 years ago. I mean, Kiss just done the Kiss Alive 35 tour... Two years ago, 
Um, they play anymore, it's going to be the Kiss Barely Alive 35. They yes. probably need to give it up. Yes, that's when they're all going to come out in the geriatric wheelchairs and have everything voice synthesized. I think before Kiss ends up having new members come in to take Gene and Paul's spot, they need to give it up. So what do you have to say out there to the ladies? Rock on. Stay heavy. Single. <laughs> yes, he, he is single and looking. He's a, he's a good guy. I meant, you know, he's a guitarist. Yes, he's a little weird, but the, hey, that's what a guitarist is made for. <laughs> and be a little weird. And really, you know, if you're not a little weird, you don't belong in Sandtown. But to let you know, we rep our town very well. You gotta be a little weird in order to be a guitarist come up with your crazy shit. Let's throw, so throw some promos out there for some of the, the locals out here. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I, you know, my brain's racked right now. You start off. Alright, first off, we gotta throw it up to Bill at Mona's Pizza. We always gotta throw it to Bill. It makes the bomb pizzas. Yeah, he does. Down 135 Columbus Ave, that's in Sandusky. Go down there, man. Awesome pizzas, barbecue chicken. They got the mashed potato pizza. All Anything you can think of, you can get on a pizza down there. They have a uh, Big Mac pizza. Uh, they do have a Big Mac pizza. Uh, we'll throw it out there. Well, we'll throw it out there for Subway, because our, our, our bassist, Scotty, he, play, he uh, works at Subway. Oh, um, CNR's music, Johnny Reed. Yeah, I gotta give over it up. Over in Sandusky Plaza. Yep, gotta give it up to him. We'll give. Sells clothes, uh, games, um, any electronics you can probably think of, he has it. Yeah. Exchange on Milan Road. Yeah. He's, uh, actually, he's gotta throw it up to, uh, to somebody from last night. You better give mad props to somebody last night, don't you? Ah, uh, um, talking about, uh, Jay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, guy uh, used to be bassist for Russet Burbank. Guy comes over and fixes up my guitar. Yeah, it was props to him. Was for him, we'd have no guitarist right now. Uh, speaking um, of local, we got to give mad props to Russet. We're huge fans of them. Russet, yeah. Uh, TBMA, huge fans of them. <laughs> Mushroom Head. Mushroom Head, Ventana. Jackie. Jackie, Kitty. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, even though they're not local, we still love Kitty. Yeah. we uh, Every guy loves a little Kitty. Yes, we do. Um... <laughs> See who else out there do we do? Do we uh, like to give props to? We gotta give props Blind, to our families. Blind Seven. Blind Seven, yes. You guys will, you guys will, you guys will get to know about Blind Seven here in a future video. That's all we can say about Blind Seven right now. Trust me, there's it's a big surprise with them. Um, like, like I said, our families, Chris's his family, Cliff's family, Nikki's family, Scotty's family, my family. Uh, I'm the only one in the band members. Very props to Marvel. Me and uh, me, Cliff and Nikki are the only one with kids in here, so we got much love for it. We're doing it for our kids, so they can we make something good. Uh, this man right here, he does he does want a woman who wants kids. So you single ladies out there, hit him up. He's a pimp. If you wanna if you wanna look us up, it's Christopher Williams at Facebook. Wilson, <laughs> Williams. That's my cousin. Sorry, Chris. Whoa! I just plugged my own cousin. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, my own cousin. But uh. Like I said, it's just a small video, get to know Chris, you know, to see what's going on. We're sitting around back board trying to figure out what we do. We're about to uh, go over here and take out some stress here in a little bit, play some ball, because that's the best way to uh, become musically inclined, is laughing at each other and putting something together. Or um, inclined. Yeah. We have to say much props to all the mothers. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Um, we need a moment of silence for our, for our bassist's mother. Rest in peace. She's not with us anymore. We love you, Scotty. And this one's out for you. Peace, Scotty. Love you, man. Yep. And like we said, actually, Scotty wrote a song for his mom. And we're actually going to uh, start putting it together. And it's a really good song. I can't wait till we get it out there. You guys are going to love it. Uh, I read the lyrics to it yesterday, and it just blew me away. So we got to show much props. to He does, He works his butt off for our band. Um, we also, he, works, he works his ass off for everybody. Anybody and any uh, everybody. Like I said before, man, we we joke around with Squeaks about him his uh, blindness, and uh, we were gonna do a jokes section, but we're not going to just yet. But um, but if you guys have any questions, I mean, you want to know about him, you want to know about any of us, just put it down, you know, say hey, or find us on Facebook and post up, say hey, you know, tell us a little bit more about the band, we'll do it. Um, this is probably about the fourth video in a day we've shot, so. 
Um, more videos to come. Yeah, actually there'll probably be two or three more today. We're going to show, introduce you to some more people around to support us. And, you know, maybe we'll go, we'll do the whole ride around where you guys kind of see where everything comes from. Ooh, speaking of, of props, plugging people, the underground. Yeah, we're underground. We, we, we'll plug the underground. It's a nice little club. Uh, we're going to plug, oh, Needle Dick's Tattoo Shop. Needle Dick's Tattoo. Yes. Build those, this and that downtown. Yep. Go down to Needle Dick's, those guys, Andrew and Jimmy, they'll take great care of you. Yes. Awesome, awesome ink work, awesome guys. Um, say anybody else what you think of right now? Musician's Alley. Yes, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have instruments. <laughs> uh, hell of some people there. Um, yeah. Good deals. Tell them, tell them uh, Cliff, Nicole, and uh, Chris sent you, and they might hook you up. Yep, they'll take good care of you. Well, YouTubers, we're out of here for now. We've spent 11 minutes of your time of absolutely nothingness. So enjoy, and we will see you later. Peace. Peace.